Let's update the firmware on our UV K5, K6, just using a Raspberry Pi. Okay, Raspberry Pi on the go. It actually, this is the new Raspberry Pi 5 and it's running my, my Bluetooth keyboard, no problem, and Bluetooth mouse, so that's good news. And also, if you look at my, I've connected it straight here with the HDMI out. Um, that cable uh, is, is powering it. Bluetooth, a couple of Bluetooth connectors there to run my controllers. And then this is the, the new Bookworm operating system that you get with the Raspberry Pi 5. I really do like my heat sink case. That's very nice. So let's get Chrome on here. It's quite fast, this is, I agree. I'm not sure how it works downloading Chrome on uh, this. Looks like you're already using Chrome, that's great. So let's find it, is it up here? So let's put in the Exuma address for the, for, you know, for selecting this browser. Okay, so we've got it on the, to this point. Flash with browser. See if it lo it's loading the firmware, that's a big plus. Remember, we're on a Raspberry Pi, we're not on a Windows PC. Next thing is I'll connect the USB cable from the W5. You can see there, we're in firmware mode. You hold down the PTT and the button underneath. Cable's in there, and it's uh, yeah, the usual cable I use on my PC. Plugged into the Raspberry Pi. So the moment of truth, let's, flick, let's hit flash. It has shown me the USB message. I got this on a Mac as well. Let's hit it. Connect. It's flashing. How good is that? So we are updating the firmware using a Raspberry Pi. No PC required. Because many people say they haven't got a PC. Well, you can buy a Raspberry Pi for £20. There you are. Brand new flashed firmware using a Raspberry Pi. Come on, how good is that? That is amazing. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, 7.3. We'll also try my Android phone. M0 FXB, welcome to my channel. So we've got my Android phone here running Chrome. We've plugged in the Bofeng cable, you can see here. Now, you know you can load firmware using a browser, so we put it put the Exuma firmware into the browser, and I was curious to know what would happen. So we've turned off the radio, held down the PTT and the button beneath, okay? Um, so we're in firmware mode. Let's hit the upload firmware button and see what happens. And it tells us it has to be a Chrome based browser edge and something says called Opera. Okay, so there's a fail. Fair enough. So the next thing we're going to do is run my little Raspberry Pi using Raspbian and see what that does.